In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to build your own curved manual treadmill. I'll explain how professional curved treadmills are built and why I like them over motorized treadmills. So a curved manual treadmill is simply a treadmill without a motor. The reason for the curve is that it works with the help of gravity. You just step on the incline in front of it and it rolls you down. That's basically how it works. Personally, it's my favorite sort of treadmills. I never really like the motorized ones. I don't like having to tell the machine what speed do I want to go. Rather, I want to control the speed with my legs. Now, as you can see, there is also a curve at the back side of the treadmill. That's a safety feature that helps you not to fall off. Another safety feature of those treadmills is that the bearings only spin in one direction. Now, the reason I'm able to push the treadmill to the other direction is because I'm using force and friction, since the bearings themselves don't spin that way. Another important safety feature is handles. I mean, I would be scared to do this. At least not without protective gear. Though, if I ever want to properly use VR with the treadmill, I'll have to get rid of the handles and be slightly more fearless. Now, let's see those bearings I keep talking about. There are plenty of them, as you can see. They are spaced quite tightly together. My treadmill is called the CT300. It's from a Chinese manufacturer. But I've done pretty good work that I could mistake it for German. There are also those free-rolling non-bearings to provide some additional mechanical stability. And a large wheel at both ends to conduct the slubs as they go from up and down and down to up. The slabs themselves appear to be made from hard rubber. They have high friction and have this pattern engraving to add even additional friction. You can clearly see the big wheels on this treadmill. In this design, the slabs are made from wood and they go both ways. This is because this treadmill is intended for dogs. Okay, so now that we've gone over how those treadmills work, let's talk for a minute about how to build one. This person built them from using metal pipes. The ball bearings are inside the pipes. Obviously, it's risky business to run on them like that, but he later added those wooden slabs. The simplest design I've seen is done by this Indian engineer. Ball bearings, screws, and PVC pipes. That's it. So clearly, there are two schools of thought. The first school says that I will use a pipe, the second one only uses ball bearings and screws, no pipes. Personally, I prefer the latter design, it's more elegant without the pipes. I mean, why use something when you don't really have to use it for it to work? The slabs simply sit on the ball bearings, but not directly. There is a flexible material that conducts all the slabs together, and that material touches the ball bearings. I don't exactly know what that material is, but there are here to be some metal wires inside. And there are also manual treadmills without slabs, but I prefer slabs. There are also claims that the slabs are more ergonomic and better for the legs. I'm not sure if I believe that, but regardless, I do prefer the slabs. They just feel better. So you have two ways of making a manual curved treadmill. I will link to the DIY videos that I've shown here. In each case, all the materials can be bought for less than, I would imagine, 200 bucks and even less than 100 bucks if you find good deals. If you simply prefer to buy a treadmill, well, the treadmill I bought cost me 2,400 bucks. Expensive, because they're durable and made from good material, and that's actually considered a cheap one. Also, don't sell for a small one. Having that extra room to move is great. And if you watched that video without any intention to use a curved manual treadmill, well, at least you got the inside scoop on how they work. So, thank you for watching and till next time.